What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Polly C. Banging out another beautiful job today. This is three small rooms on a split-level home. It is a nylon polyester blend, gray carpet. And I chose to use the Auric Orbiter, which is perfect for this channel for the beginner that wants to get into this. You can go to some of my other videos. I obviously don't use the Auric for everything. You can, it would just take a lot longer. Look at that scrub out. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, oh, we're having fun today. There's the mixture. And in there, I'm gonna show you later in the video what I'm using today. It is absolutely crazy. And here we're using the 13 inch Neptune hog's hair pre-scrub pad. So my wife pre-vacuumed everything with the Hoover Hush Tone and then sprayed the solution down evenly with the Works HydraShot lithium powered sprayer. And then she worked it in with the application pad or the Neptune and then we're going to extract with these polar pads. These are the new gray color polar pads and man they're awesome and I, I like the gray because they don't show the dirt but they do absorb it or extract it. Beautiful day out there today like I said split level home all wood floors and just three small bedrooms with closets. Now what she's doing, we did, like I said, we vacuumed up all the dry soil. Very important with this method. Remember, there's no suction. So your suction has to be your vacuum cleaners. You want a really good heavy duty commercial vacuum like the Hoover Hush Tone that I use. You're gonna pull up the dry soil through the vacuuming step any dirt that's left behind is not going to be dry soil that could be vacuumed up but needs to be transferred through an emulsification solution and into an absorbent pad and we call those water soluble soils such as if there's say something that spilt a soda a coffee tea or dirt that's ground in that is now in the fibers it's no longer able to be lifted by vacuum other various spots i'm sure you could think of hundreds of them but once you get all the dry soil out you pre-spray it that pre-spray i'll show you what i'm using works incredible cuts through the fibers loosens up the soils and separates it from the fiber and it also has an anti-resoiling agent in there which prevents it from re-entering the fibers and dries down to a brittle crystal which is further protection zero residue it just stays clean longer it's just a, a wonderful process you could see here she's doing the extraction process hey miss lisa <laughs> anyway <clears throat> the so you know we call it set soil extraction transfer technology so that's what you're doing you're extracting all the dry soil and then you are going to emulsify the soils that are in there with your specialty encapsulating pre-spray and then you're gonna scrub it in to work that solution in real good with the scrubbing pad right there the neptune hogs hair pad then you're going to throw the absorbent microfiber polar pad or you could use iron man pads whatever you have and absorb those water soluble soils lift those out of the carpet then you're going to come back in and groom everything when you're done which i like to groom it because i can check my work i'm pushing forwards and backwards and making sure there's no additional spots i need to treat and the magic lies in the fact that you're not using I mean I probably used a gallon and a half total for three rooms here and you're not using a whole lot of moisture 
and you're not flushing anything into the lower regions of the pad or the subfloor. You're basically cleaning from the top of the fiber to the bottom of the fiber and that's all you need to clean. Nobody wants to get down deep into the padding unless you have a urine situation where the urine has gone into the padding then you may want to uh, do some different techniques. I have a few techniques where we flush it out. I do have a mini extractor that I use, hot water extractor for upholstery, you may have seen. So it does have its moments, but this method, oh man, perfect. We had a lot of little spots and soil areas. A lot of it came up with vacuuming and then scrubbing as she's doing is getting everything ready to be transferred into the pad the pad holds the soil it doesn't spread it around or release it especially these microfiber pads the polar pads if you look close at a microfiber it has little individual strands like little fingers and each one of those is kind of like a vein it absorbs the soil through the fiber instead of just on the surface of the pad brings it into the uh, special center of the pad which has a special absorbent foam in there and then you groom it and you're good to go and it should be dry in about no longer than an hour if you do need specialty spotting you know I have go oxy which is a about a 15 percent peroxide based uh, whitener brightener and you want to use peroxide on organics. Organics is urine, feces, coffee, tea, stuff like that. Your peroxide is going to break down the organic matter. It just makes blood disappear. So you want to do that. I'm going to grab me another pad for this other room. You see I'm using one pad per room. Just one side each. So make sure you get enough pads so that you can switch out if you start out and you only have a few pads and you're doing a bigger job you're going to need to take them in the bathroom and rinse them out between rooms and you see here how the little green center of the neptune pad stayed on the velcro that was good of her to find that i do this all the time i forget and when you pull it off that little piece is on there you throw your pad on and it's all imbalanced it doesn't lay flat so there's a tip for you. You don't have to put it back in the center if you don't want them. You can actually use those little center ones on your drill for cleaning upholstery or spot cleaning. You can see there, I shoved it back in there. And these Neptune pads, they're pretty inexpensive. I can't think they're more than about five bucks, but they'll probably do 10 to 20 jobs before they wear out. Definitely worth the investment. I'm going to come out here. I've got to get the grooming brush. And I'm going to get a little bit of spotter just in case. And the spotter is going to be the Go Oxy. Just about a half an ounce in a 32 ounce trigger sprayer. And I'll probably put about half, maybe 16 ounces of water. This is a beautiful split level home here in the woods. Here you can see I've got my pole extended out to about seven foot. I'll zoom in and show you what we groom with. This is called a rug renovator. You can get this on Amazon. Has two sides, runs about $35. And the pole I got at Home Depot, it's a painter's pole, screws right in. There's wheels on the bottom of this brush, so it's easy to push. No exhausting brushes or pushing and pulling. It just rolls across. You'll see I'll do it with one hand. This is called a Premier, I think it's called Premier Painter Pull. It's kind of wearing out, but anyway, it's telescopic. And when you do your grooming, what you're doing is, number one, you're trying to get the aesthetic look. Everybody knows that carpets have been cleaned if they have those vacuuming lines or those steam cleaning lines you know people look for that you see it on all the zillow or 
uh, Redfin uh, homes that are listed. When they show the rooms, you'll see these beautiful triangles or shark teeth. But you could see it's allowing me to pull the fiber backwards and forwards and see if there's any additional spots that I may need to come back through and treat. I'll get in and around this closet. I would normally shorten it a little bit so yeah. I can get in here easier, but since I'm filming with the other hand, bear with me. I'll still get all the areas and make it look good. So the purpose of me doing these videos for you is in using the smaller Auric Orbiter machine, and also you can see my wife's doing the whole job, so you don't have to be really strong. She's about five foot four maybe 125 pounds she's got the jug in her hand she's spraying properly she vacuums she can carry the 24 pound auric orbiter she knows pretty much the whole routine which you know if you watch these videos but i'm using the smaller auric orbiters for the beginner so you could see you can start a business you can do bigger rooms, you could do a whole house, you could do commercial buildings, but it's gonna take you a lot longer. And eventually, as you start making money, you're gonna wanna invest in the step up, which I would say a good investment would be the Swirly Rotary 175 machine with the two and a half gallon tank. I like the shower feed option. I don't particularly use the pump. They do have them, but you could check the, all that equipment out on ncapstore.com. Damon Williams is the owner. He's really helpful. He has a good staff there. If you're looking to upgrade later, or if you're looking, if you purchase an Auric Orbiter on Amazon for about 350 bucks, 400 bucks, look at those beautiful shark teeth. <laughs> but anyway, if you if you need uh, supplies for your Auric Orbiter, he has an Auric Orbiter package with pads and whatnot. I can even ask him to put together a Poly C Auric Orbiter package for you that will have the Neptune pads, the uh, gray polar pads, the Velcro sheet so you can upgrade your pad driver, and then the main items i use is going to be green dragon that's my general cleaner go oxy is for organics i've been using a another cleaner which is i'll show you here in just a moment as my booster the only booster i need and then i also carry the caput which is a stabilized clo2 and then now I carry another product. I'll show you two new products. I'm, this is all I carry on my van. It's all you need. Look at this job. Come on. All right. So what did we use today? I used Green Dragon, which is my base cleaner. I boosted with Simply Citrus on the right. Just about, eh, I think I only put two ounces in the, in the uh, solution. I had three gallons in there. You can do it at one ounce per gallon, so 32 ounce bottle there will make 32 gallons of ready to use solution or booster. All right, let me show you these items, Green Dragon. I'll kind of zoom in, you can print screen this if you're interested in getting more information, but you can use a half ounce to an ounce per gallon for lightly soiled. This is a six pound jar so this thing's gonna go a long long way you can't beat it people look at the price of a six pound jar i can't remember i think this is 29 30 bucks something like that you can look online i just order it by the case but it goes a long way and then this is what i'm using for my booster now it is d-limonene it's a natural orange oil and it does have a peroxide on it. It can be used as a multi-cleaner. But I'll zoom in here and show you. It says peroxide there. So it has a little peroxide on it. It is certified there. It is green seal certified. Just incredible. So again, this 32 ounce bottle at, mixed at one ounce per gallon will give you 32 ready to use gallons and these are cheap 
cheap. Trust me. Get on ncapstore.com. Let them know Polly C sent you. Try this stuff out. It's amazing. It's nice to have these products that are professional and you can show your customers. This is sensational. I've been getting, I have, there's a lemon scent to the Green Dragon, but this is just kind of a boost. You see where it says WOP? That stands for War on P. This is not War on P, but this is the odor or the, this is the scent that they use, that fresh mountain scent in the War on P. So if you've used War on P, which is an enzyme, you'll know. But here you can look at the dilution ratios, three to four ounces per gallon. Honestly, you could put, you could do an ounce per gallon. It smells that good. I used two ounces and added it to three gallons of water. I did that because there was some, just a light odor in there, maybe a food odor or something like that, but came out beautiful. So everything on your truck, everything you need, you got your general cleaner, Green Dragon cleans everything, even wool, furniture, tile, wood, upholstery. If you need to boost and you're not on wool, you can add the D-limonene, the orange oil. That's gonna break down those extra soils if it's heavily soiled. You can even add an ounce of that to a 32 ounce trigger spray and use it as your spotter. And then the Kaput is the stabilized CLO2. You can find that inexpensive. The other thing I use is Gooxy for organics. That's your peroxide-based product. Check that out. And now the Sensational. If you just want a nice deodorizer, and it's kind of, it's been great. <laughs> Turned off the light. It's been great because a lot of people, you know, not only do they attribute those triangles to clean, but they attribute a scent to clean. You want to ask and be sure ahead of time that they're okay with the scent, but I think it helps. Look at this one more time before I let y'all go. I'm not pushing anything on anybody. I'm just telling you how to be successful with the Auric Orbiter, what products I use. I never get any callbacks. So if you want to get into this and do it the right way, just watch my videos, copycat what I'm doing, grow over time. I've had a lot of guys and gals that got into business, and now their companies are twice my size. They started out with an Auric, and there you go. So give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. I'm going to head to lunch, and I'll see you in the next one.